So hi guys, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use or create multiple scenarios in feature file. And also I'm gonna demonstrate you the usage of parameterized step definitions. So uh, if you look at our login feature, we have a valid login scenario, but it would actually make sense to use an invalid login scenario to make sure that you cannot log into application with invalid credentials. And how to do it? Pretty simple. And let's start on the top. And I'm gonna update documentation a little bit. So as a invalid user, I cannot log into application. And down here, I'm gonna create one more scenario. And the scenario name would be invalid login. And here we basically want to replicate oops, the steps, but I'm gonna pass uh, invalid username and password, and you will see what happens. So, given I open login page. And as you can see, this is a uh, power of the Cucumber framework because all these uh, steps can be shared across scenarios, even feature files. So it's very reusable and it's very good, uh, very readable. So even non-technical guys such as product managers can write the scenarios and the test engineer will implement the step definitions in the JavaScript code. So Ben, I fill user name with and I'm gonna pass it something like invalid username to make sure that my test will not pass and I fill password with invalid password and as you can see I'm reusing the same step definitions, which are defined here, but thanks to the parameterization, I can just pass any different values and it will basically work. And I click on submit login, then, and basically whenever I'm trying to log in with invalid credentials, I expect something like an error message. So I should see error message. So let's now go to our login steps and we can basically define it. So then I should see error message and there is no need for any parameter. And basically we should go to our login page and we should create the function here because we are still in the context of the login page. So const error message. And if we basically look here, I have already opened it. If you try to log without valid credentials, it will basically gives you this error message with this text. So if you basically inspect it, then you will get that the error has this class. So we can use this error as selector. But remember, we are using classes, so we need to do dot alert error. And uh, basically now we need to create a function. So let's do static. And what should be the name? Well, Okay, we can name it get error message. And here we want to do sci dot get. We want to get that error message. So and it should contain some text. So we want to call contains. And let's grab the text. 
and paste the tag here. Or, you know, let's give it a better name. Should show error message. Or should show error message. It would be even better naming. So, should show error message. Now I think it's perfect. So, let's go back to our login steps. And here I want to do a login page that should show error message. And save it. Let's just make sure that we don't have any typos. So we edit selector of error message with uh, selector of class alert error. We create one more function, should show error message. And we want to check that the error message is present and it contains this text. So I should see error message. And I think we are good to go. So let's now try it. So npm or npx cypress open and as you can see we have still our login feature and if I click on it then you should see that we have two scenarios one for invalid login and one for valid login and as you can see, both of our tests passed. And whenever you have like a multiple scenarios, it will uh, group them like this. So you can easily see how many scenarios you have. You can also click to see the details of each test run. And that's pretty much it. So let me close this. Let me clear my terminal. <coughs> and again, you can create as many scenarios as you want in feature, but I can recommend you to group them into the features regarding the context. And I think that's it. If you want to use reusable step definitions, now you know how to do it. You also know how to do the multiple scenarios. And remember, whenever you are doing this, you should always uh, keep this documentation updated. So whenever someone will open this login feature, he can Im immediately see what is this feature testing and what's going on here. So I think that's it. And let's move to the next video.